what's going on? What's going on, everybody? This is FlemingCom.com, aka Andre Fleming. This is going to just be a short presentation concerning the bare minimum basics to learn when you want to do a fresh Kodi install. I'm doing it on my PC. This works as well as on any other media device, such as Fire Stick or one of your Android devices, one of those boxes you get from wish.com, you know, overseas boxes you get from China, wherever. This will work on all of those. This is just a bare minimum. I found a good build that I'm going to demonstrate with, but this is just a bare minimum. Okay, so what you see is Kodi at its raw form. This is 17, I think 17.7, 17.6 or something like that with the Krypton. Um, and if you're using something older, you may want to go ahead and upgrade to the Krypton. Okay, so first thing you want to do is want to go over to, let me see, you're going to go over to, you know, go up here to the, to the gear icon. Click on that. And it may be a little bunch of moving around because for whatever, whatever reason, my computer seems like to be a loosey-goosey. Okay, so the first thing you want to go do is go to system settings. Click on that. After you go to system settings, I'm going to do this slow because as you can tell, it'll be all over the place. See, after you go to system settings, let's go down to add-ons and then move your mouse over to unknown sources. Notice that it's off. Just click on unknown sources to bring it on and then the warning is going to come up. You want to hit yes. And then being that on my, on my PC, I'm going to do an escape to go back to the menu. Okay, now we're back. We only go back one. So come off system settings and then go to file manager. Now here, you're going to add the source. And if you come across any tutorial, um, it's basically when you go to add source, that's basically when you're going to going to um, type an add, um, um, IP address in there. So you want to double click on add source, make sure you're going to the left side. And then the add source file, you're going to click on the, the none. And here, you're going to type it in with your keyboard. I found this guy um, site. His uh, YouTube channel is, uh, I, guess, I guess it's called Keck Let's Tech. It's spelled K E C K L E T S T E C H. Check the guy out. I, I like his build because it's, 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 um, it, it seems to be good with live streaming TV. It has live streaming TV, movies, and a whole lot of other things. I think this is a great build. He came out with this back in April of. 2018 so it's fairly new not that old so I'm gonna go ahead and give you his address and I'm gonna type it in I'm using it I'm at the PC um, so it's gonna be quicker to, to do so it's gonna be HTTP colon slash slash and it's gonna be S T E V E N T V wizard that's W I Z A R D dot x y z slash four slash wizard w i z a r d okay i'm leave it up there i'm gonna leave that up there for a few seconds or you can just pause the video and type that in again it's http colon four slash four slash stephen tv wizard dot x y z four slash wizard and then once you do that you know, hit the OK button. Now, he has it. It's on. When you get to this part, you want to name the source. I like to go over and put a dot in front of it. So I'm just, for all intents and purposes, I'm using a, a PC, so I can just scroll over. But if you're not using a PC and you use your Fire Stick, you're gonna have to click on this. So if you're using the Fire Stick or one of those devices where you have to click on this to get the keyboard, I'm gonna do that. But as you can see, I can just put the dot in front of Wizard and it'll work. But I'm gonna just wipe all of this out. As you would as if you had a fire stick or something. I like to put a dot in there. W-I-Z-A-R-D. Because when you go to find the file, it'll be at the top instead of having to scroll through stuff, especially if you have a lot of stuff already on your um, your device. Click OK. Make sure everything's in place. Because if not, it's going to, you're gonna get a rejection. 
now you see, as you can tell it's up there so let's um I'm do escape back to the main menu escape again now we want to go to add-ons click on add-ons and go up to that old open box icon at the top C click on that now we're going to go over here and we're going to install from zip file and as you can see my wizard is at the top you know, notice if it wasn't it would have been mixed up down here somewhere but you always want it at the top so we got the wizard so click on that it's doing its thing now we want to go to plugin.program.steventvwizard dash 0.1.2 zip it may change depending on you know they may up, do an upgrade or something so but that's basically the, what you want the plug-in program you don't want the video one you want the plug-in program click on it and in about 30 seconds or so you should see a notification little box come up it'll slide in from the uh, from the uh, right of your screen any time now it should take 30 seconds I don't know depends on your internet connection my connection kind of sucks because I'm actually on Wi-Fi I have a adapter but it should just slide in there see there it goes it came at the top now if you're meticulous about these things it's up to you to, to change this box I just go ahead and click on continue because I'm cool with you know the standard settings so I'll click on continue Okay, then you get your build menu. Click on build menu. Now it's going to do some fancy stuff. Now we want to go down, we want to go all the way down until you get to Krypton Media Build. That's what you want. The version may change, you may see 7.6 down the line, but this is basically what you want. Because if you look at the left side of the screen, that's what it's going to look like once you get done. So let's click on that. okay now let's go down to the installs I like to do a fresh install because it just wipes out everything but if you want to keep some of your add-ons that you have on there go to standard install I recommend fresh install because it, it make everything fresh and clean so click on that and you want to continue it's going to go through all of these and that's going to pop up. I'm going to pause the video. You want to go through a sequence of this. Depending on your speed. I like mine. I have about a little over five minutes left on mine. I'm not going to let this run for five minutes. I'm going to pause it. When I get to a, um, when I get to a, when it all, when it all goes through, it's going to be this window. It's going to be another one. And I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. Okay. When this window, when this part is done, when the download is done, then I'm going to, come back and when the other window pops up so we can discuss that as well okay everybody um look like we're going into the down the home stretch it, it took about five minutes the other screen should be popping up here in about 12 10 whatever seconds left now that's the next screen is pretty much important the next part is crucial as well and it's going, it's going, it's going. Now, this part is do the, doing the installation. Okay, so you see uh, below the Steven TV Wizard, you see installing Krypton Media Build V7.5, and then you have the error in brackets. That should, if, if anything, that should have no more than three errors. I did a build one time and it had like maybe 36. I'm not sure what happened. The build still went through. But when I got around to trying to do different features on that particular build, it was horrible. Okay, so just and just keep that part in mind. You want no more than three errors. And also, I forgot to mention in the beginning. I don't know if I did or not. If you're doing a PC like I'm doing, you want to go ahead and de 
you want to go ahead and uninstall before you start a new build you want to go ahead and uninstall Cody from your PC just uninstall it completely and then go out there to the Cody site and re-download it that's the only way I know how to do it I tried other ways but they didn't work out as, as good so that's kind of the best way it only takes about, about five ten minutes of your time to un, um, download well uninstall and then go out there and find the download now once you find the new download for it keep that in your download folder for future because say like the new build you want to try out is not working to your standards all you have to do is just go back to your um, uninstall under the control panel on your PC go out there uninstall it and then you have the same Kodi file the download file in your download folder on your PC for fire stick you have to go I you have to go out there to uh, go to your apps app manager and then go down uh, to your find the Kodi and then you don't want to uninstall the Kodi from your fire stick you want to uh, clear data and once you click on that clear data it'll ask you again do you want to clear data yeah and then you hit it again to confirm once you do that back out to go back out one menu wait about you know about about a minute or so then go back into um, the Kodi app and go under clear data and it should have all zeros um, if it doesn't have all zeros then do it again because sometimes I find on the fire stick when you clear the data and try to go out there and open it up it doesn't um, it doesn't do right I just think it's freaking what the heck okay there it goes maybe he's doing something big I don't know but I'm gonna pause this but yeah keep that in mind about the fire stick um, when you're doing on a fire stick I don't, I don't know why this thing is going so slow eh, this is an older PC anyway I'm running Windows 7 on it also if you have multiple PCs or multiple devices you're trying to do this on and you're on Wi-Fi do not do them all at the same time I tried that the other day and it was a crap storm so to speak so I do I think it's okay to do the fire sticks all at one time because I have you know upstairs downstairs so the fire sticks are all over so they're not pulling but I think it's the PCs that pull the most because I had the time I was trying to do a lot I had fire stick going two laptops and my desktop trying to do a build all at the same time because when I do one update I do them all, all my devices everything I have at the same time okay I'm a, well yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pause this again and then uh, we'll get to the next screen and I'll, sh I'll come back okay that has completed I had zero errors so at this point you want to force close Cody this is a this is a must so click on that and it'll just shut Cody down okay let me get out of all this crap okay now let me go here and go to Cody open back up and here you have it here it is now I'm not going to go through all of the everything but give it at least five to ten minutes before you start doing anything because it's going to start giving updates on different like right now you know the build menu just came up for the uh, skin shortcuts so it's going you gonna get all kind of stuff all these updates from different apps or what have you so give it about five to ten minutes before you actually start doing stuff so that you can um, you know utilize everything without any interference and hopefully this was helpful if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you hate the video give me a thumbs down um, share it share it with your buddies and also again go to the, the, the person who uh, presented the bill where I got it from go to the person's channel show them support um, I don't know the person personally so I'm not getting nothing off of this I just like to share the love on um, you know on YouTube because some people will give you stuff and won't tell you where it came from but I'm telling you where it came from um, the guy's channel is K E C K L E T S T E C H. Okay, everybody have a great Saturday. I'm about to go get my swerve on. Time for some beer. Yup, yup.